What's up everyone, this is FP6 bringing you some Go Battle League battles here in the Master League Classic, and I hope you all are doing well. Uh, I'm going to be featuring a team with Excadrill in the lead, and my thought process for this was uh, Excadrill has a lot of solid matchups against Dialga, it has play against Mewtwo, um, it beats the Charmers, so I felt like it was a fairly neutral lead, uh, and I really enjoyed pairing Excadrill along with Lugia. Lugia is very bulky and oftentimes uh, does not require any shields to still be able to get to an arrow blast which is a very strong move and that dragon tail damage is very nice excadrill on the other hand is much glassier and does require shields so kind of pairing a more spammy glassy pokemon in the front with a uh, bulky pokemon that does not require shields uh, tends to work out fairly well and honestly, this core of Excadrill and Lugia, you can kind of run anything you want in the back with it. I opted to go with Kyogre in the back just to give me uh, some more neutral play uh, in some matchups and to have a solid response to any opposing Excadrill um, and have play against uh, a Melmetal as well. But you'll see in this video that um, this team in some scenarios would perform much better if I had my own dragon type in the back. So I'm thinking potentially either a Dialga or a Giratina would function really well just to give me uh, some better resistances uh, if I do end up running into a Kyogre in the lead, uh, which I do end up running into a couple of uh, Kyogres in the lead. And typically I just mirror with my own. Even though I'm not running Thunder, they tend to, to switch out of there. Blizzard on Kyogre um, is fairly effective if you end up running Kyogre in the back and you're able to set up yourself with an energy advantage and uh, be able to land that Blizzard when shields are down. But longer video for today, let's uh, start commentating these battles here. This fairy dog thing, Zacian, I think is how it's pronounced, is super wild because you never know what moveset it's running. It has access to close combat wild charge and play rough so it's always scary of like what pokemon you should bring out onto it uh typically i bring out my lugia but if they end up having wild charge then that's a very scary situation plus they're running snarl as a fast move as well which generates energy very quickly my lugia is able to take out that yveltal which is just absolutely amazing despite being hit for super effective damage the whole time lugia is just such a monster it pretty much has the the best overall stat product in master league uh, so it's it's really really nice to just take advantage of that bulk my opponent has their own excadrill and i bring up my kyogre to try to get ahead on energy out comes that Zacian again i'm going to go straight for the drill run because i had energy loaded on my excadrill it's not enough to take it out but i'll be able to farm it down and then i will have a drill run for the opposing excadrill and i'll be able to take this game here good game excadrill into dialga this is exactly the matchup that you want to maintain my opponent switches uh into their own excadrill and kyogre perfect response to this i'm going to opt to throw this surf because they have over farmed and given me an opportunity to burn a shield there this was a fake CMP tie, which is why I snuck in an extra waterfall. It was not enough to KO the Excadrill, unfortunately. And I do want to shield this to guarantee that my Excadrill will stay aligned with that Dialga. This Kyogre Dialga matchup is not even that bad for a Kyogre. It's pretty ridiculous. You can see how much the waterfalls are chunking. Um, Iron Head would hit for resisted damage. I switch into my Lugia there to avoid getting farmed down. And since shields are down, I kind of just want to get a jump start on energy. And unfortunately, they have their own Kyogre in the back, but I'm going to safely be able to get to an Arrow Blast here. This is not going to be able to KO the Kyogre, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And uh, my opponent actually surrenders right there. Uh, recognizing that with my shield advantage is pretty much a good game okay giratina this team struggles with giratina and this is why i have considered and and honestly might um like this point going forward put my own giratina or a dialga in the back um typically if i see a giratina in the lead whether it's origin or altered i need to stay in with excadrill for a little bit and put it uh, in a low enough health range where even my Kyogre late game can threaten it with a Surf. 
So I always uh, eventually make a swap into my Lugia, try to get as much Dragon Tail chip damage as I can before they end up switching out there. It's met with the Togekiss, not great. Thank goodness the Togekiss did not boost here. I'm just gonna go straight for the Aeroblast and they let it go through, that's really good for me. Despite hitting for double resisted damage with these fast moves, Lugia is putting up a fight. I'm able to get a shield in this matchup, which is really good for me. And I put the Togekiss into farm down range uh, for either of my Pokemon. I knew that they only had enough energy for an ancient power, so that's why I bring out my Excadrill here. I'm gonna hit for double resisted and I'm able to mud shot it down. I'm going to instant swap into my Kyogre and catch this move from the Giratina. And they have another uh, Charmer in the back. So this is Giratina Double Charm. This is a Sylveon. I'm, I'm getting to back-to-back -back Surfs to attempt to deny a Charm on the second move and not let any damage go through. Luckily, this Surf will KO the Sylveon, uh, so that Charm damage will not register. And those Waterfalls would, would chunk that Giratina there. So able to take that. Good game. All right, another Giratina in the lead. It's, uh, it's always tough to deal with. Uh, if you're able to sneak in mud shots in this matchup, it's a little bit more comfortable because two drill runs almost KOs and depending on how quick you are with your Lugia swap and how fast your opponent is on the response, you can sometimes uh, snipe them down with that dragon tail damage. But I'm going to throw another drill run here and that's the health range right there. I tried to snipe it down, but they were quick on the response. Out comes uh, this Zacian here. So I'm assuming that they're running wild charge, which is why I threw the sky attack right here. I was trying to force the CMP tie, but they didn't throw. They over farmed way more than I thought they were going to. So they go for play rough right here. Pretty interesting. But I forced the CMP tie on this one as well, thinking that it would be wild charge. It looks like they're thinking that they can just win this matchup going straight play rough uh, or they have play rough close combat which is most likely the case. They catch on their Giratina, very nice play by them, but I honestly wanted to get rid of that Giratina anyway, so it's fine. I'm looking to instant swap into my Kyogre because I know that they're gonna be switch locked on whatever they bring in and it is a ho-oh. So these waterfalls are chunking. I'm gonna throw the Surf right here, start burning some shields. I know that they're gonna have to shield everything here. And uh, this was a, a false CMP tie, so I'm able to sneak a waterfall through. They go for Earthquake there. If they would have went for Brave Bird, this might have been a different scenario. But Earthquake really just does not do nearly as much damage uh, to the Kyogre. So I can just let this go. And I know that Excadrill will clean up the rest of this uh, game here. They're going to bring out the Zacian again. But I can safely shield this. Is this the close combat? No, I only ever saw play rough from this Zacian, so I have no idea what they had for their second move, but I'm uh, going to be able to take that game. Good game. Execute Drill into Giratina. Okay, another Giratina lead. And the altered form is honestly a little bit more awkward just because of how much uh, more bulky it is compared to Origin. Granted, the charge moves are not as threatening, like Shadow Sneak is nowhere near as threatening, but the bulk just makes this really awkward. They actually ended up baiting with Dragon Cloud, which was kind of an interesting play. But if they let this go through, that's a good range for my Lugia to come in. So I make the swap right there. Whatever damage this Giratina throws is pretty much irrelevant because I anticipate them swapping out. There it is. And it is a Zacian. Let's see if this one ends up having Wild Charge. I know my Lugia will survive a Wild Charge from this range. Okay, they're going for Play Rough again. Zacian is such an interesting pick. I unfortunately don't have one built for Master League, but it has such a cool moveset. I've seen a lot of people utilize it uh, on the safe swap and it really seems to be strong. So they're able to take out my Lugia, nice play. I'm hoping that I can get some good farm with my Excadrill here, but they're able to get to a move. Have to shield this up, unfortunately, because it is the close combat. They end up switching the Giratina, so I'm going to swap to my Kyogre and attempt to farm this all the way down. I'm thinking maybe this might be Giratina uh, Double Fairy. Uh, and if that's the case, my Excadrill will have play, but it's most likely a Charmer in the back. And despite the Charms being resisted, it still really hurts Excadrill. 
but I'm able to farm down the Giratina. Let's see what's in the back. They still have that Zacian for a potential sack swap. It is a Charmer, it's a Togekiss. Really unfortunate for me, because one Rock Slide is not gonna be able to KO this Togekiss. They do swap the Zacian right there, which gives me extra farm, which is pretty nice. Uh, and I'm going for the fast move denial here, hoping that I can get to another rock slide, but I have to get to two more rock slides and unfortunately just barely not going to have enough energy to get there. Excadrill is so glassy. Those charms being resisted, they're able to charm me down. Well played by my opponent. Shadow Snorlax lead, uh, definitely an interesting lead. So I'm anticipating that they're probably going to throw a superpower and swap out of here eventually. So they're definitely at the superpower energy. I'm gonna shield this. The lick damage is, is really adding up. And it looks like they're opting to just sack their Snorlax. Whenever my opponent does this, I anticipate that my extra drill is gonna have play against something in the back. So I'm most likely gonna swap into my Lugia and preserve it. They have a Giratina and they're up a shield, so this is kind of rough for me. But I'm going to swap my Lugia here, because if there is a Dialga in the back, I kind of want to bait it out. It's actually a Melmetal, so this is going to be kind of rough. Uh, they do not allow me to get to the Aeroblast, that's really unfortunate for me. And the Rock Slide is just enough damage to take me out. I have to bring in my Kyogre here, but down a shield, this is not looking good for me at all. They still have their Giratina. And this Melmetal Kyogre matchup is fairly neutral on either side. Yeah, this, this damage is really adding up. We're even shields, they have a significant energy advantage. And at this point, I just have to hope that my Excadrill can outpace, because if I would have shielded my Kyogre there, they would have just uh, brought in Giratina and started farming, and me without shields, that would that would not do well. But unfortunately, their Melmetal just has too much energy here. Have to shield up this move. They swap into their Giratina. Great play, because it forces me to have to throw, but I don't even have enough energy to get there. Plus, their Melmetal would have been able to get to another superpower anyways. Very well played by my opponent. Giratina is always tough for this line. Dialga in the lead, very, very good. We want to maintain this matchup. They swap their own Giratina in. So again, I don't have a direct response to this. The downside of having my own Dialga in the back is I'm much weaker to Groudon. Um, and Melmetal becomes a little bit more of an issue. But I feel like having my own Giratina in the back um, might be a decent alternative. I don't know. I'm still still fiddling around with the idea a little bit. But I'm going to bring out my Lugia here to farm down this uh, Giratina. I want to make sure that I can try to maintain that um, Excadrill Dialga matchup. And honestly, I really love this Lugia Dialga matchup. The Dragon Tail damage is hitting for neutral. It really adds up over time. And uh, pretty much every time the opponent uh, running Dialga allows you to get to an Arrow Blast. So you either do massive damage or you force a shield. Now granted, they did get a big farm down right there, which was a nice play. I'm just gonna let my Excadrill go. They went for Iron Head. I do not wanna get farmed, so I swap in my Kyogre right here. This is where Blizzard comes in really clutch. I'm gonna shield whatever this move is. They're most likely gonna swap out to avoid getting farmed down. Uh, well, th this is not where Blizzard comes in clutch. <laughs> that, that's a different game coming up, I think. But uh, if they had another Dragon type in the back, Blizzard would uh, potentially be able to one-shot that. But since I farmed all that energy on their Dialga, I'm able to get to two Surfs here. Uh, this is going to do some damage, though. They're able to land a Superpower. I need as much damage on that Dialga as possible. I'm not able to get to another Waterfall, unfortunately, and they're barely able to win that game. Very well played by my opponent. Okay, Togekiss lead. This is good for me, but it's not as good as you think, especially when I'm like lagging and missing fast moves there, unfortunately. I'm um, gonna go for this rock slide. 
The charm damage is still adding up despite being resisted, which is just insane. The fact that they're staying in with Togekiss means that they might have something weak to my Excadrill in the back. Uh, most likely a Dialga. They don't boost, which is good for me. I'm trying to farm as much energy as possible. And then I might store a move and swap. Yeah, out comes a Giratina. I swap into my Lugia after storing move and there it is. There's the Dialga. But this is going to be rough. They have two dragon types and my Kyogre does not appreciate that at all. They let me land the Arrow Blast. That's really good for me. And I'm actually going to let this go. And try to farm this down. Able to farm it down. That's huge. I need to burn the last shield to be able to land a Blizzard onto the Giratina and they shield that and they throw energy. So I've spotted my win condition, save the shield from my Kyogre, get to the blizzard and that's a good game. So they're gonna throw like three moves at me. Thank goodness I saved my shield here. I just need to get to this blizzard, but man, this Giratina is very spammy. I still don't have a Hundo uh, Giratina Altered, so I have not built one for Master League, but I've actually seen a lot of people use like Giratina Altered as a safe swap as well, and it seems to perform pretty decent in that uh, role. But there goes the Blizzard, down goes the Giratina, and we're able to take that game. Another uh, great lead for the Excadrill, they swap in the Zacian. Okay, the Zacian on the safe swap. I tend to want to see what moves that my opponent is running. So they're running close combat. Ideally, I need to try to catch a close combat on my Lugia. That is the goal here. So I'm going to execute the swap right there because I knew that they just had received the energy for another close combat and were able to catch it, which is really good for me. I'm now going to be able to farm down this Zacian right before it's able to get to another move. They might have had Wild Charge, and if they did, they would have gotten to it right there. Out comes the Dialga. This is totally fine by me. This Dialga cannot farm my Lugia all the way down. I go for the big Arrow Blast. It gets shielded. Totally fine. My Excadrill is still very healthy because uh, it really only took um, Snarl damage from that Zacian. They go for the Draco. And in the back is their own Kyogre, so I'm going to throw a drill run on this first to give my own Kyogre a little bit uh, better of a chance at taking this out. We are desynced uh, somehow. I guess when I swapped that, that took a turn there. But I can just go straight surf while as uh, they kind of have to try to bait the thunder. I'm going to shield this up and it is the thunder, so good shield. And then Kyogre is just going to chunk this Dialga here. I'm just going to put on as much surf pressure as possible. And I'm able to get to another surf. They have to shield this. And then I swap immediately to force them to Draco. That's going to lower their attack. And then my Kyogre will be able to waterfall them down. If I would have stayed in with my Kyogre there, I would have lost that game because it would have uh, Dragon Breath me down and then Dracoed my uh, Excadrill. All right, Giratina in the lead again. Get some weird lag in the beginning. Again, I need to put this in a health range where it's low enough that uh, if I end up losing switch advantage, my Kyogre can still, still deal with it. So it needs to be like in the one third health range. So I'm going to land another drill run here, see what they want to do. They end up shielding that one, and it was a CMP tie. I tried to get out of there. They baited me on the first one, so I knew that this was probably going to be the big move. I shield it up, farming a little bit more. Going to throw the drill run here and see what they want to do. They let it go, but they survive with a sliver of health. So I'm going to store a move on my Excadrill and then swap to my Kyogre here. Now I'm going to farm as much energy on this Kyogre as I can, because if they bring out that, uh, that Giratina, I'll have a move ready for it. But I do know that it has a sliver of health, so they're probably going to try to use that as a sack swap late game. We'll see what they bring out. I know I have energy stored. It's another fairy type. It's a Sylveon. 
I have a move stored on my Excadrill. I burned their final shield right there, which is really good for me. So all I need to do is get to an Aeroblast here. They brought out the Giratina, probably thinking that I was going to bring out my Excadrill and try to throw immediately. So they try to catch, but we're able to take that game. Mammoth Wine lead is pretty scary. Um, we're both hitting for neutral damage, and the Powder Snow is doing much more damage than my Mudshot is. I swapped the Lugia here just on the off chance that they threw Bulldoze, but they're definitely going to be throwing Avalanche the whole time. That's fine. The fact that they allowed me to throw that Drill Run before they threw an Avalanche allowed me to, to make that play. And they let me get to an Aeroblast. That's really good for me. The issue is I've I've seen a Mamoswine and I've seen an Excadrill. They probably have a hard counter to Kyogre in the back. Some sort of dragon type, I'm assuming, because they're already double weak to Kyogre. So this is kind of an awkward scenario for me, but I'm able to waterfall it down. And there's the hard counter to Kyogre. There's a Giratina. I get a waterfall through, which is good for me. I need to somehow get to a blizzard. So I'm gonna go for a surf bait here after farming up a bunch. And I do get a shield. I have to shield up these uh, shadow balls though. And I need to force them to commit their final shield. So I'm gonna throw a surf right there. I need to somehow get to a drill run on my extra drill as well. So we lag right here, unfortunately. And then beautiful catch by them on their Mammoth Swine. I knew that they had some residual energy, so I tried to undercharge, but I did not undercharge enough. Um, I needed to leave that matchup with a drill run. And unfortunately, I just mismanaged my energy there a little bit. That would have been a game changer though. If I would have over farmed a little bit more with my Excadrill, drill, to be able to land a drill run on this Giratina would have been a different story, but very well played to my opponent. Giratina lead once again. Going to go for these drill runs and I'm trying to sneak an extra mud shot through. They go straight for the shadow wall, thank goodness. It's always unfortunate when you get baited in this matchup. They let it go through. So I'm gonna throw another drill run here and see what they wanna do. If they let this go through, I might try to snipe it down with the Lugia. They do end up shielding it, all right. I get a mud shot through there. Definitely gonna shield this. I wanna try to win the lead. They swap a Mewtwo. So I farm up a bunch and then swap into my Lugia. I'm shields down. So let's see if they're running Shadow Ball or um, Ice Beam. It looks like they're not. They threw a Psy Strike. So they're just gonna straight side strike me, which means that I can just really farm up a bunch with Lugia here. I might even go for an undercharged uh, sky attack. I don't wanna risk them getting to another side strike though. So I do go for the excellent. This still allows me to get two more dragon tails, which is good. Out comes their own Excadrill. Now I have two drill runs stored on my Excadrill. So I'm keeping that in mind. I swap my Kyogre here. They bring out their Giratina once again. I'm able to get to this Surf. My Excadrill is a Hundo IV. So assuming that my opponent has a 15 attack Excadrill as well, it's gonna be random on the CMP tie. So I think I do a pretty nice move here, uh, end game. My, my thought is I need to swap in the middle of their fast move animation to guarantee that I can queue up my animation and not force the CMP tie. So I stay in with Lugia and then I stop tapping and then I swap in the middle of their mud shot in order to throw my drill run here to guarantee that I can get this damage off and I'm able to take that game there. Good game. The Excadrill mirror match. So we're staying in. It would be really nice to potentially catch a drill run on my Lugia. No mud shot goes through on their side. And then I sneak a mud shot through here. Now look what happened there. I clicked the drill run and my opponent made an amazing swap, but the game refunded my charge move. Man, it feels so bad when that happens. 
Um, I don't know why that happens. I think if you like are if you're tapping on the charge move, you tap the charge move button once and you immediately move your thumb back to the middle of the phone to continue doing fast moves. Uh, I feel like that's occasionally when the refund might occur. Um, whereas if you're just like spam tapping the charge move button over and over again, it's more likely to go off. But um, I got very, very lucky right there because if they would have caught that drill run, they definitely would have uh, been at a pretty nice advantage there. That would have been a wasted energy on my side. They're able to get to another rock slide here. And I'm farming up a lot here because it forces them to throw energy right here. Now, this is really nice farm for my Kyogre. So I'm going to bring out my Kyogre. They swap out to avoid getting farmed down. And it's a Yveltal in the back. I'm seeing a lot less Yveltal this time around in Master League. Probably because there's way more Zacian around now. And Zacian is just like a really hard wall to this Yveltal. I'm going to throw this Rock Slide here. And down goes Yveltal. And then uh, I'm going to be able to take out their Excadrill as well. Good game. You love to see Dialga in the lead. This is the dream matchup. Out comes their own Lugia. Kind of an awkward scenario because Excadrill has to do double duty here. I chip it with the Rock Slide and then I'm going to opt to go into my Kyogre. Now this Lugia is still not in Surf range and Arrow Blast is very threatening. I get baited with Sky Attack. Really nice play by my opponent. Gonna throw the Surf here and see what they want to do. This was not a CMP tie, and they shield, so I'm going to throw another Surf immediately. And they let it go. Now, they're going to get a really hefty farm with their Dialga. I'm farming up as much as possible to try to scare them into throwing their energy, but they are committed to the farm down, which is very scary for me. I have to bring in Excadrill, and I know I'm probably going to get Dracoed here. So I end up shielding this, and in the back they have a Kyogre. Really bad for me, unfortunately. Um, I think if I would have let that Draco Meteor go and saved the shield from my Lugia, potentially there would have been some play here, but it would have been tough. It still would have been tough. I get blizzarded by the Kyogre, and at this point, uh, it's pretty much game over. This drill drill run, unfortunately, is just not going to do enough damage, and I'm not able to mud shot them down. Uh, so very close game, and very well played by my opponent. I was not really able to handle that opposing Lugia swap in. Kyogre lead, very bad. I'm going to mirror with my own Kyogre, and they're opting to stay in. That's totally fine by me. All the damage that I'm doing to their Kyogre just guarantees that my Excadrill uh, is going to be a little bit safer. But this also might indicate that they might have another good counter to Excadrill in the back. Potentially a Groudon, maybe a Giratina. We're getting weird, like fast move desync happening here. They swap in a Snorlax. And I was really tempted to just go for the Blizzard there. But I'm going to throw a Surf and throw another Surf. And I, if I remember correctly, this Snorlax barely survives this. Yeah, and it's able to get to the Body Slam. That is so unfortunate. Because my Waterfall damage does not register, and now I've lost Switch Advantage. I'm going to bring in my Excadrill Drill for a little bit of farm. They're waiting at the Switch Clock, which is a nice play because they know that theirs isn't up yet. I swapped to my Lugia immediately. They are still stuck in this matchup. So I'm going to throw the Sky Attack immediately to punish them for still being stuck here and burn their last shield. They're throwing a Surf here, most likely just to burn the clock a little bit more. I really need to be able to farm this thing down. They got to another Surf. And what did they have in the back? They have their own Excadrill in the back. Not good at all. And I don't have enough energy on my own Excadrill. I'm going to throw this Arrow Blast and swap. Hope that I can get there. But here comes the Drill Run and look how much damage this does. That is insane. It pretty much one shots an Excadrill. Oh my goodness. Really well played by my opponent here. When I mirrored with my own Lugia, it made sense that they stayed in there, uh, knowing that they had an Excadrill in the back. 
Okay, so uh, once again, the Zation swapping. This might be the game that I totally just uh, play so terribly. I played so badly that it was is hilarious. So I, I had to include it in this video. They bait me with play rough, which was very interesting because that's a lot of energy used. So I do get a shield with that drill run and then I swap to my Lugia here to try to catch a potential close combat and they ended up having close combat and play rough. So this means that I can totally farm down this Zacian now. There's another play rough, totally fine by me. I'm getting a lot of energy here. I know the Dialga is going to come back in and this arrow blast and these dragon tails are just going to go to town on this Dialga. No boost, unfortunately. But able to get to a sky attack here. The opponent is really trying to commit to the farm down here. But my Dragon Tail damage is just doing too much. What is in the back? It is their own Kyogre. Uh, so at this point, the game is pretty much over. I throw a Drill Run just to chip it. Most likely, they're not going to shield it. And then I can just go straight Surf. And the Waterfall damage will uh, take them out. And they recognize that. Good game. This might be the game right here. Okay, so really good lead. Here's the Zation. Now what I should do in this scenario is always stay in until I see them throw a move. And this time I get a little jumpy. So I swap here and this Zation is running wild charge. Ouch. Does a lot of damage. I really want to farm them down though, because their defense is falling. So at this point I'm like, all right, gonna commit both shields. Can I farm this down? Please, 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 please. And good game. <laughs> It was so bad. It was hilarious. So I, I laughed out loud when that happened. I was like, that was the worst play I had ever done. Tried to farm it down, but Giratina in the lead. I believe this is the final battle of the video as well. If you stuck around for the whole thing, uh, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed uh, these battles. So I need to soften up this Giratina once again to put it in a more manageable health range for my backline. They let that go. And they end up throwing a move. Oh, this might be the game where I end up just totally sacking my Excadrill. Yeah, I opted to play this a little bit differently this time, which I think was a bad play. Most likely there's a Dialga in the back. So at least I'm getting a jump start on energy with my Lugia. There's a Dialga. I'm really glad they brought it out here. That means that my Kyogre will not have to see this. I'm going to bait with Sky Attack. Because since I'm staying in, I'm kind of showing them that I might be weak to a Dialga in the back. So it's, they're going to be more inclined to shield. I build up the Aeroblast energy once again, and I'm going to throw a Sky Attack. I honestly just need as much raw damage on this uh, Dialga as possible, because then my Kyogre can handle it. I figured I was not going to be able to get to an arrow blast there. And so I save all that energy and then swap. I shield up the Draco. In the back is a Mewtwo. So I need to take this thing out. But I'm recognizing I'm not going to be able to get to a Blizzard. So I have to throw Surf right here. This is not going to be enough to KO the Mewtwo. But it's going to put it in farm range. They actually allow me to farm them because then they want to farm my Kyogre, but this allows me to get to a Surf, and I know that I already have a Sky Attack loaded, so I'll be able to take out this Dialga. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate the content. Best of luck in your battles, and I'll see you in the next video.